if you are a music video editor then you most definitely need shakes that's why in this tutorial i'll be breaking down three of my favorite shakes and i'll be showing you guys so you can create them step by step without gatekeeping any things you can integrate them into your music videos so without wasting more of your time let's get right into this tutorial so we're in after effects right now and i got my two clips ready here to work on but before i start dropping all of the sauce i just want to show you guys something real quick i'll add on a new adjustment layer and i'll open up window go to extensions and select the vfx kit so this is basically what i've been working on for like the past month and this is my new vfx kit this logo right here is just a placeholder because i have someone working on a new logo for me and this is an extension that i've been working on which right now includes like around 100 effects in total but it will be like around 150 or 175 when it drops so it's not out yet but we got main effects shakes roto effects hits speed ramps crt and transitions so if you open one of these tabs let's do shakes for example we got a bunch of shakes in here and i'm pretty sure it's like right around 20 right now if not more and i definitely think that this is going to be a game changer for video editors so let's say you want to add on this trippy optics shake you just simply press apply like that's it it's that easy and your keyframes will basically be aligned to where your what's this called your marker where your marker is placed so let me play it through real quick and see what it looks like and it's as easy as that like i don't even gotta explain this but we got a bunch of effects in here and we got the search bar as well and when you're typing it's glowing that's really cool so if you want like a wiggle you just search up wiggle and here are the four wiggles that we have available right now and if you want to favorite any of these effects just press the favorite icon like the star icon and open up favorites but that's all you're getting right now i'm not showing you more until it's actually done but i just real quick wanted to show you what i've been working on because i'm really excited for this but let's get right into this tutorial so let's create a new adjustment layer and to this adjustment layer we'll start off with the triple optics shake that i just showed you guys so the first effect we're going to add on is a distort chroma and this is from sapphire of course if you don't have sapphire you might as well click off the video because we'll be using it for basically every single shake and we'll turn up the bare lens to 390 and we can keep the amount like 0.9 so it's going to be really heavy uh, distortion on this shake so keyframe the amount and you can keyframe the rotate warp direction as well then we'll go like right around here and turn it down to zero and turn up the rotate warp direction to let's do 90 just like that next up we can add on an optics compensation effect and we can turn up the field of view to something really high like let's do 160 and press this reverse lens distortion you need to press this one and this will give us this kind of distortion zoom and we'll go all the way in to the end of the scene and turn it down to zero so we'll have this kind of zoom out but we'll mess with the graph editor in a second so it will look a lot better but before we do that let's add on a transform effect and this is basically just to give us more of that zoom so we can turn it up to like 150 just like that key from the scale and go all the way to the end turn it down to zero no 100 of course now for the final effect of course we're going to add on a sapphire shake to help us create this shake and i'll go for pretty basic settings on this one let's do 1.3 for the for the amplitude and we can turn up the frequency to like 12 and if you want like a vertical shake then you mess with the x and y shake but we basically won't mess with it for this one we can just change the y random amplitude to 192 and for the next two effects we'll mess a lot more with these settings so go all the way like right around here and turn it down to zero so the shake will be a little bit shorter than all of the other effects now press u on your keyboard so you can see all of your keyframes easy is them by pressing f9 and make sure to turn on motion blur now i'll create a graph that looks something like this for basically all of the effects so it should be pretty quick in the beginning and then kind of slow out so it's a smooth kind of graph and a smooth shake of course and for the optics compensation we can create something that's a little bit more calm like this maybe because this effect is like it's not too visible when you create heavy graphs so I'll even go for something like that and for the transform we can create a heavy graph that's really hard hitting right here and for the shake we'll do something similar just like this that's a little bit too heavy so let's do something like that and this should be pretty much good 
yeah that looks good make sure that you have your motion blur on both on the adjustment layer and in the shake but that's pretty much it for this shake it's a trippy one and a pretty smooth one so let's jump right into the next one the next shake that i'll add on is a subtle vertical shake which has been going really crazy recently like especially on drill music videos i honestly see everywhere so let's add on a transform effect to start this off and this will just be to create a subtle zoom we can turn it up to 150 go all the way to the end reset it and then we'll of course add on a sapphire shake so for this one we're basically skipping a lot of effects just so we can keep it subtle because it's a subtle shake so let's turn up the amplitude to 1.9 somewhere around there and the frequency to 6. make sure that your motion blur is selected and let's open up the x shake settings we can turn down the random amplitude to 90 and we don't need to do a lot more in here so you can close the x shake and open up y shake and in here i usually turn up the y random amplitude to 400 so you can see it's a really vertical shake right now compared to before and then for the y random frequency i'll do 1.5 and then right here we'll turn up the wave amplitude to 8 and the wave frequency to 0.7 so let's key from the amplitude if you haven't done it yet and go like halfway into my clip right around here and let's turn down the amplitude to zero i will mess with the graph editor in just a sec before we do that let's add on a sapphire flicker just to create something subtle so turn it up to like 0 0.45 keyframe it go all the way to the end turn it down to zero and make sure that motion blur is turned on for your scene and let's ease these all of our keyframes for the transform effect i'll go for something like this just like this and for the sapphire shake amplitude let's do something similar not but not as heavy kind of let's do something like this so we can still have the shake and for the flicker we don't necessarily got to do anything so this is pretty much what the shake looks like if you want to add something on to spice it up right here for the first couple of frames you could go for an exposure effect or actually let's save that because this is a subtle shake so let's keep it as it is right now and it's a really smooth shake so let's jump right into the next one i'll use the same scene for this next shake so let's uh, start off with a sapphire shake on this one and let's turn up the amplitude to 2.2 because this is not as subtle as the last one and key from the amplitude turn on motion blur like we did the last couple of times and we can turn up the frequency to 15 or actually let's just do two on the amplitude and i'll go in like half a second or something like that turn it down to zero right here that's a little bit more than half a second actually but i'll mess with the x shake i'll turn down the x random amplitude to 100 and i'll turn this up to 1.3 and this to like 5 and the wave amplitude to like 17 and we can keep the random frequency at zero point i will turn down the wave frequency to 0.35 like that and for the y shake i'll turn it up to like 400 or no 400 was for the last one so let's go for 300 and i'll turn this up to 1.2 next one to 36 and then you can keep the rest basically as it is so this is what we got right now it's a really heavy shake but we'll be messing with the graph editor in a second so next up let's go for a radial burr uh, effect and you'll pretty much see what it does in a second i'll turn it up to 43 and keyframe the amount and go actually all the way in here and turn it down to zero and you can actually set the center to the middle of your subject but since mine is moving a lot i'll just put it to the middle right here and then i'll go for a transform effect and i'll turn up the transform to 180 just so it zooms in a lot and keep in the scale and go all the way in here and turn down to zero turn down to 100 of course i'm tired as fuck and for the graph editor we'll create pretty much the same thing that we did for all of the last shakes so something like this and for the radial blur we'll do basically the same thing so this is basically the final shake and it's a really cool one so that's pretty much it for this tutorial here are all of the three shakes that we did in this one and if you watched this far thank you so much for watching if you didn't thank you anyway all of my preset packs will be linked in the description so if you want to go check them out go ahead and do that and stay tuned for the vfx kit extension it's not out yet patreon is also linked in the description and follow me on ig i'll see you in the next one peace